Hello, welcome back. If you are enjoying my content, please sub, like, or comment to help my channel be shown to more people. Today's discussion is on the Atlamal, another less frequently explored poem in the Poetic Edda. <clears throat> okay, let's jump right in. Atlamal in Gronlensku, the Greenlandic Lay of Atli. One of the heroic poems of the Poetic Edda, it relates the same basic story as Atlavida at greater length and in a different style. The poem is believed to have been composed in Greenland, most likely in the 12th century. It has 103 stanzas and is the only Eddic poem written entirely in Mitr Malahatra. Both Atlamal and Atlavida are referred to as Greenlandic poems in the Codex Regis. Most scholars believe At Atlakvita to be older than the Norse colony in Greenland and reject a Greenlandic origin for that poem. Atlamal, on the other hand, is believed to be of an age consistent with composition in Greenland. Moreover, some aspects of the poem itself are suggestive of Greenland. In particular, one of Kostbera's ominous dreams has a realistic description of a polar bear. The grim tone of the poem is also consistent with what is known of the Greenland settlement. The relatively mean conditions of the chieftains in the poem, the Niflunger, for example, have only ten retainers, have also been taken as strengthening the case for the origin in Greenlandic culture. Okay, the story. Plotting to kill his brother-in-law, Otley dispatches messengers to Gunnar and Hogni, the sons of Giyuki, with an invitation to his hall. Gudrun, daughter of Giyuki, Otley's wife, learns about the plot and sends a runic message to her brothers, but the runes are corrupted by one of the messengers, Vingi. Nevertheless, Kostbera, Hogni's wife discerns from the runes that something is wrong and warns Hogni. Hogni dismisses her fears, but she persists and describes dreadful dreams she has had, interpreting them as warnings. Hogni remains unmoved and explains the dreams away. Glaumvor, Gunnar's wife, has also had bad dreams, which she describes to her husband, who also attempts to explain them away. Eventually, Gunnar admits that their lives may be short, but tells Glamvor that he cannot evade his doom. The brothers set out to Otli with only three companions. The women follow the brothers to a fjord where their ways must part. Glamvor reminds Ving Vingi of the sanctity due to a guest, and he swears there is no deception. Kostbera and Hogni say farewell to each other, and the men row away. As the brothers and their companions arrive at Otli's door, Vingi admits to his treachery and is promptly slain. Otli then attacks the five guests with a force of thirty. Battle rages for hours, and Gudrun joins it on the side of her brothers, throwing away her jewelry. Finally, the children of Gyuki are overpowered, having slain 18 of Otli's warriors. Otli trades accusations with his wife and orders the execution of Gunnar and Hogni. Following a comical episode with Hajali, Otli's cook, Otli has the brothers executed. Hogni dies laughing while Gunnar dies playing a harp with his toes. If you're gonna go out. Otli discusses matters with Gudrun. She tells him that things will go badly for him unless he kills her too. 
He tries to console her by promising precious gifts, and she pretends to relent, asking Otley for a great ale feast to commemorate her brothers. Gudrun then kills their two sons and has the unsuspecting Otley use their heads as drinking vessels and eat their roasted hearts. Later, Gudrun kills Otley with the aid of Nilfjungur, son of Hogni. The final part of the poem consists of exchanges between Gudrun and Otley. Gudrun recalls her glorious past when she went harrying with Sigurdr and her brothers. Otley recalls his marriage proposal to Gudrun and how she was never content in their marriage despite all their riches. In the end, he asks Gudrun to give him an honorable burial, and she agrees. She then attempts suicide and fails. The poem ends on a note that any man who begets such offspring as Gajuki is fortunate. And I will include the sources for this in the description. Please like, sub, share. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you again. Goodbye.